everything here, like the roads, is a sheet. It's an icy sheet. Uh, ours is not too bad. That's the main road because the water is just over there. So uh, we're at the lowest elevation of the city. But everywhere else, their driveways, the roads, is very icy. Compacted ice. So we had a big storm. And I'm just putting down... I was just... Uh, this is for my milkman. So... Oh. Um, he has, um, I think he's a single dad, but he has two teenage daughters, so I gave him uh, socks and for the daughters, and then two socks, and then Bath and Body Works candle. I got him a um, $20 gift card for Starbucks uh, lotion that I had, and then I always give him this one. He loves this, the multi-flavor JoJo's. I got him that one. And for his daughter, and then I just said, what did I say? Happy holidays to you and your daughters. So I think he's a single dad. He always gives me a, um, he always gives me a, what do you call that? Ooh, um, Christmas card. <laughs> he gave me a Christmas card, last delivery. So today, if he's coming, then he'll have some nice Christmas gifts. Or if not, then it'll be there. Nothing in there is going to go bad. Alright friends, look at that. That one has cheese. Ube hand pie. So easy. Oh my gosh friends, we trekked in here. Hubby dropped us off to go to Home Depot and get some salt. Because our driveway is very slippery. I'm getting a Mexican mocha. And then we got Korean hot dogs. Danny had one with potatoes and sugar. Mm, mine's no sugar. Korean hot dogs. <laughs> we are at, what is this, Mimiso? Mimiso. Look at how, oh, look how cute. Oh, that would be you. Um, it's just like a high end dollar store. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. So do something I wanted. <laughs> oh look! What are they mittens? They're mittens. <gasps> oh. Wait, wait, look! It. Oh it yeah, it's one of those things that you um. You go like this, and then it's a yeah. full mitten. Danica but had that one of too, that. I feel like this is too much. Yeah, for a twenty-year-old, a little bit. But maybe, maybe this one. Oh um, no, they're both a little. Much. Well, we'll get one. I'll give you one for your stocking stuffer. <gasps> look at these fuzzy socks. I never Why not? They're cute. It's Pachaco. Okay, what are these? Like mouse pads? Yeah. Oh, look. It's a mouse pad. Do you want this one? Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. What about this one for Danny? She Danny likes, likes this. Danny likes that. Huh? Danny likes... Okay. Do, do we need... It's 11 bucks. Do we need a Danny gift? Or no? Um, you can have, yeah. I mean, I it's 11. <gasps> There's a Kirobi. What's the, what's the Kirobi? <coughs> what Kirobi? Oh, There's a magnet. A magnet? No, she doesn't need a magnet. Hmm. Okay, what about this, Danielle? You don't want it? No, it's too much. It's just something fun that you can put on when we go for a walk. We'll get it. Just act surprised. Okay, Christmas Eve morning. <laughs> We are thank you. We are having breakfast. Patty's Agnes is one of um uh, like local uh, breakfast place. And look at this Christmas bread pudding. Oh, you guys can't read that one. Um, I'm thinking of getting that, but 
It's not. Our favorites. They have a favorites there. Omelets. But we need, um, we're going to go to T-Mobile and get the kids' new phone. <laughs> every few years, we get them a new phone. Like every, what, two years? Oh, every three. So this is the third year? Oh, uh, okay. Dana Lynn reminded me yesterday. <laughs> well, the phones are end of life, so. Yeah. So she's like, Mom, do you think next Christmas we can get a new phone? Because my phone is old. Friends, she has an iPhone 11. <laughs> It's not that old. I didn't order anything. But look at hubbies. What is that? <laughs> Webos and shells. So I figured I'd just share with him. <laughs> Here's my plate. <laughs> hubby's plate. My plate. <laughs> Friends. Hubby shared. So here's my plate now. I just saved myself $17.50. <laughs> Hubby thinks I'm weird. <laughs> All right, friends. Good morning. Merry morning. Christmas Eve day. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Merry Christmas Eve day. It's not nighttime. I think of Eve as nighttime. Yeah. Merry Christmas Eve. But last last minute shopping so we're going to quit Costco um, Target to pick up Danica stuff yesterday we went with the kids and just uh, did like a um, online order for pickup but they're so busy that um, it wasn't ready even after like what four hours yeah two. they weren't ready it was three but they all didn't ready and then, as we're, you know, Miss Danilyn, she's our witty. <laughs> Danny, out of all the children, she says how how she feels. She says it how it is. She says it how it is. She's that woman, that, that girl has no, she's witty. She's quick. Uh, she's strong. She beats up Danielle. But yeah. So anyways, yesterday we were out and about. And I kind of thought about it a few weeks ago, but then I'm like, I didn't process it. Every few years we get them a phone. So they have an iPhone 11. And she's like, mom, next Christmas, do you think we can get a new phone? Because my phone is so old. It's, it's not charging. It's not doing all this. It's just so old. And I'm like, your phone is iPhone 11. Have you not seen Miss Mary's phone? <laughs> Miss Mary's phone is so old because she doesn't want to get a new phone to process all the new information that when we went to T-Mobile yesterday to, I mean not yesterday, last year to get Hubby and I, well, I surprised Hubby with the iPhone 13 Pro and she was looking into phones and then the, the salesperson said, oh, this is vintage. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Miss Mary. Okay, all the ice and the snow has now melted have rain and it's Christmas Eve. There's our buddy. What'd you name your buddy? Oh, oh I didn't name him. Oh. He gives he's supposed to protect us and give us uh, good luck. Good vibe, good luck. <coughs> yeah the eco egos were our protectors so yeah. warriors. Take out the evil spirit. Look at this instant, like an instant pot, but a precession Dutch oven. It's like a Dutch oven. Look how it's real. So it's Costco price one sixty nine ninety nine. It's forty dollars off one twenty nine ninety nine. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh. See? Cast iron pot. Okay. It expires tomorrow. And they're closed tomorrow. But it's $15.99, $4 on. And it's three pieces. So you get the shirt and then two pants. A jogger and then a wide or straight leg. So I got to get one for Danielle. One for Danny. 
Yeah, I need some medium. I like the, we like our PJs like one size up. This face. I said, let's get this for Danica. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this squishmallow for $36.99. Oh my god, it's so big. Oh, no more, hubby said. No more squishmallows. All right, friends. Merry Christmas. Santa has arrived. And look at that. Hubby was able to finish the kids' stockings with their names. And there's hubby with his Target... Black Friday PJs. Sacks. Oh. Hubby arranged them. Or Santa arranged them. Santa does not know how to arrange them. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Uncle Brian spent the night. <laughs> and then there's our tree. This is warm. Okay. Is it? <laughs> we have Snuffy. Snuffy, our elf on the shelf. He always writes a letter to Danica. And, oh, you guys got to see my tree. Look at my additional. Good morning. Merry Christmas. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who came, Danica? Santa. Oh, how do you know? Wow, it looks the same to me. No, look. Where? Oh, yeah, that. Oh, oh my goodness, I yes. Did not keep before. <gasps> oh, yes. Merry Christmas, my love. Oh, all you right. You have so many presents. Oh, I know. You're very <laughs> well loved because you're a good girl. Look at that. Okay, look at those. She gave me some baby gnomes for my gnome tree. Okay. And these are just for the kids. <laughs> this is for just my family. These are for um, other families. But everything here, friends, we spoil our kids. We spoil. Yeah. Christmas is when we go out for our kids. Okay. And then Uncle Brian gave him little gifts, little cards. I put them here so that it doesn't get lost. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Beautiful. Yes. Merry Christmas, children. <laughs> oh. Okay. What you got? Does it turn on? Yeah. Oh, really? Show me. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, girls. Love you. Where's your shirt? It's too hot. Oh. Merry Christmas. Love you. They got their... Christmas Eve PJs. Oh, it's nice and velvety. And then I got this from last year. Yeah. Danica, which one's from Santa? Uh, show her, Danica. Show me. <laughs> Are we waiting for Kuya? Yeah. yeah. And brush his okay. teeth really quick. Look at that. We're still. <laughs> they have a little pile everywhere. No name, but I made it myself. For who? For you. Oh, thank you. You wrapped it? Oh, uh, with a balloon. Oh, with your balloon? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What's that for? And this to is, uh, mom. To mom? Oh. To mom from the kids. From the kids. Well, thank you, children. So one last night. Hey, you two mom from kids. To mom from kids. Oh my gosh. Babe, this is way too much. This is my pile. Oh. Danny's pile. 
Wow, there's more. You're welcome. This is a lot of gifts. <laughs> That would be me. <laughs> sexy wifey loves sexy hubby. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Danielle. Uh for Danielle. Java? Goodness. Uh, those are for um, other families. That's for Danny Ka from Grammy. Well, this is mine. I know it. You know who I wrapped it for? Who? My dog. Oh, my goodness. Who's that for? You. To wifey from hubby. Who's that? This is from Danica. Uh huh. From school. What is that? It's Danica! Danica. Oh, I love it, Danica! <laughs> Danica, I love it! Oh, thank you! Uh -huh. I, I made it at Thanks, school. Mom, for this. Really? Oh, you're welcome! Ask him to do a kick. Ask him to do a kick. Do a kick. Do a dance. Do a dance. <laughs> do a dance. All right, friends, I had my heart of a mess here. I was uh, <laughs> I was FaceTiming with uh, Grammy, which is um, hubby's mom, but we call her Grammy. She's my mill, my mother in love. So I was showing her the stuff I got. And then now, Danica. But now I'm going to make um, Bunsit. And I really like the crispy, so I gotta wash my hands. This is oil, hot, hot pan. And then I like to pre-season my meat before I put it into the pan. So I've got pepper, salt, and then garlic powder in here. I'm waiting for the thing to get really hot. I just grab my phone with my clean hands and now I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, so I bought a family pack of the pork. Um, like, um, I forgot what kind of pork, but I'm gonna cook this tomorrow or Tuesday, but I like to, because I've already defrosted it into the fridge, I like to pre-cook it to put it back into the fridge for actually tomorrow uh, to make another Filipino dish, okay? So I'm gonna put that in the fridge for tomorrow. This one is cooking, still browning. This one, look how crispy I make my, my, um, my pork for the pancit. Remember, a um, few vlogs ago, I said I like to have it really super crispy. And that's almost done. Okay, and then I'm gonna set that aside once it's done, and then I'll start prepping up the veggies. When I make my pancit, Filipino pancit, I like to pre-cook every single thing. Like, it's, it's more hard work, but um, in the end, it tastes better because every single thing is, is cooked to perfection, friends. All right, we're gonna go to Lola's later and my sister up north uh, to celebrate Christmas, but then this one we're gonna have for lunch with uh, Miss Mary, she's coming. And this is Filipino Menudo. So, if you guys wanna know how I make my Filipino Menudo, you know a cookbook is good when you have all these. Okay, I've had this even before Jonathan was born, I think. But this is, um, I don't follow it to the T, I get the ingredients and the process, and then I kind of, happy face means it's good. Okay, pork tocino, embutido. Uh, okay, hold on one second. Taxil. Minudo. Okay, so this is the recipe I'm going to follow. It does say boil the meat, but look, I'm frying the meat. <laughs> so like I said, I don't follow it to a T. I kind of make my own kind of, I wing it. All right, friends, I'm done with the pork um, for the pancit, but look how crispy it is. And then I flavored it with salt, pepper, and garlic, and honestly, oh, um, you can eat it as is. Okay, I have chicken broth, 
And then I've been boiling it, or not boiling it, just preheating the pan a bit. What I have is my kasori. And then I have my pork there cube. And then the recipe says water. But I'm adding in the goodness of everything in that pan. And then the chicken broth. And then I'm going to cook it in here until it's nice and tender. And then um, the reason that I don't like to boil the meat is because I don't like the... Like when you boil meat, there's that... Like when you boil blood of the meat, it like pops up and turns into like a yucky foam. I don't like that. So that's why I, I um, saute it first. Okay. And then this is why I love pancit because look at all these veggies. Okay, so... Pancet, I told hubby to stop at the store yesterday, so there's, um, he got me celery, big cabbage, but that's okay, I can always use it to something. Uh, bell peppers is for the menudo. Uh, fresh, I got fresh tomatoes, and then I got green beans, and just in case I'm short of the tomato, I also have tomato sauce. Okay, friends, I had to turn off my kasori because it is cooking way too fast, okay? It is... Look at the meat. It's nice and tender. I added uh, two tomatoes in here. That's like nicely cooking. It's thickening up the sauce. It's coloring the sauce. I had two tablespoons of uh, dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of just white vinegar, salt and pepper, and that's all that I put in there. Okay, friends, I'm sauteing carrots and bell peppers, and then I just put this into the microwave. Potatoes cook forever, so I put it into the microwave for about two minutes, so it's not too cooked, but also won't cook forever. And uh, saute. Okay, and this is just me winging it. I added about two tablespoons of tomato sauce just to flavor up the the tomatoes, and then it'll flavor up the um, the meat that's already into the kisori, okay? And then I'll turn off the heat and then set that aside because everything is pretty much kind of al dente at the moment. Last 10 minutes or 15 minutes and then I'll put it into the kisori. All right, friends, so here's my tomato. I mean, yeah, potatoes and bell pepper. All right, I went ahead and added the potatoes, bell pepper mixture. And again, it's going to thicken up that sauce. See how the sauce is. And I also like to go in there with like scissors. I have um, kitchen shears that I go in like if it's too big so that it all cooks evenly. I kind of just snip it. Okay. And this is just going to cook for another uh, maybe about 10 minutes because kasori is so quick. I got to really keep an eye on it. That's why I don't have a lid um, over it because it cooks super fast, friends. And then I got to scrape the bottom as well. But look at that. Over hot rice and then the sauce is already thickening from the potatoes. No thickening agent at all. No cornstarch. Okay. So the pan that I used to saute like the... It wasn't the... Yeah, the meat. The... For the pancet, remember? Do not throw that away or, or clean it. So I just set it aside. And now I'm going to put my one can of chicken broth. Okay, I'm going to warm that up. And then I'm going to set it aside to use for the noodles. So instead of just putting water on the noodles, you not only have the chicken broth, but you have all the, the goodness from the pan. Okay, friends. So now I'm working on my lumpia i mean lumpia sorry the lumpia is already frozen lola made the lumpia but i just add a little bit of oil each vegetable so the secret to making pancit to be very easy to make is that have everything prep like for instance i had my um my meat all prep okay nice and crunchy and i don't have my carrots prep but i'm winging it friends so i'm gonna go ahead and um chop and then saute separately and it's just a little bit of um oil and then you can also this is when i also add my garlic you guys have seen me with my pancit of how i do it like garlic and onion but friends because of the snow 
I don't have any more garlic and onions, but that's okay. We have salt, pepper, garlic powder, and I even have a onion, minced onion. That's okay. All right, so let's go. I want to put this last, like the, the greens. I also add the greens of the celery. Some people don't, but I do because I think it has so much uh, fragrance or aroma. Okay. And then each time I have also my seasoning handy. This is why I have my like little, this is, I got this one from William Sonoma. It's like for barbecue, mustard, but I just turn it around. And then pepper, and then friend. okay, that's it, okay? You just have that candy. Miss Mary and Noah are on their way. So we're gonna have Uncle Brian left to go over to his dad and then make this al dente. Not cooked, not super cooked, but barely cooked. Uh, Miss Mary's here, so look at all my veggies, they're all pre-cooked. Then I'm gonna put my meat. Okay, I'm gonna mix that and that's gonna go to the side. And then all I have to do now is do my cabbage and then the noodles. Okay. Oh my gosh, I wasn't recording, go ahead. We do. So about 20 years ago, Martha Stewart did a show on making Santa bread. And this is, I've made it every a couple years. And this is it. Oh my gosh, Miss Mary. Since we were we were doing the... Um, uh, like why a, do you always have to outdo me? I don't understand I don't why it's a competition. I just thought it would be nice. So like, can, look at that. Is it cute? He looks like Santa. It is Santa. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, there's cabbage and then there's my veggies. Now I'm going to mix it all together. And what I'm going to do is pour the chicken, I mean, bread? the chicken broth. Okay, and then I did not flavor the soy sauce into the cabbage. Mix it together and then just pour it over my rice noodles. And that is fun set, my friends. All right, this, <laughs> Miss Mary is here. All right, so this is for the vlog. I gotta keep, uh, keep it track, but I made lumpia, um, Pancet, and I put it into this huge Ikea bowl that Miss Mary reminded me that I had. So it's nice and deep um, because of the noodles, but super easy to make. I showed you guys how to do that. This is the Filipino minudo, which is just uh, pork with um, potatoes, carrots, and bell peppers. And then Lola's lumpia, which she made for Danny's volleyball tournament, which I saved uh, two bags for us so we can have our Christmas dinner with it. Miss Mary's making a video today. <laughs> so this is, uh, what is this, Miss Mary? That is the goat cheese mm -hmm. um, with the cranberry cinnamon. You know. And then this is a uh, Santa bread that she bought at the store. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to outdo me, okay? Focus on the pun set, friends. <laughs> this is not the store. This is called the store. Okay, so she made, she hand baked this. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I will not take away your thunder. Oh, go ahead. come on. I told you I was going to bring it. Okay. Okay, so Martha Stewart, about 20 years ago, did a television episode of how to make this bread. Mm -hmm. And I've made it a couple of times over the years. Perfected so, it? Well, I didn't perfect it. I but. think it's perfect. <laughs> yes, okay. So she's going to make um, a video of how she does her cheese board. And what do you call the cheese board? The charcuterie. Yes, I can't pronounce it, friends, because I have issues with my... <laughs> my language <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna start filming that so we can eat wait hold on <laughs> Jaden looks like the girl <laughs> all right friends it's after it's well not even after. it's after vlogmas it's christmas e nope hello friends aloha friends it's christmas night and there's danilin but we are at um up north we went to visit lola There's Danielle. <laughs> they're, they're doing their crazy Photoshop, but look at that. This is their like fountain area, pond area, and it froze over. But it's pretty lights everywhere. Whoa, hello. <laughs> but uh, lots of pretty lights. There's more. It's like it's everywhere. This is the casino. 
and this is my crazy squad. <laughs> All right, Miss Mari, we're gonna trek it. Hey, show our friends your purse. Oh my gosh, look, friends, I got her this from Lululemon, and then it's the one that you can go up. Oh, I thought you were something. <laughs> I thought you were. I'm like, mom, we gotta go. <laughs> Crazy friends. Danny! Oh boy. Where's the music coming from? Oh, right here. Oh, friends, look at that. Oh, and look at Miss Mary's hat. <laughs> I'm home. I'm a Christmas tree. Oh, someone piled up some snow over there. Mm hmm It's almost like the iceberg. Ah. Oh. It really like zoomed in. It could be like an iceberg.